Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is February 1st and I'm so excited. February is my favorite month because it's my birthday month and this year is leap year. So we've got 29 days in February. I'm super excited. It's also my mom's birthday month and we'll be doing some fun things I hope. Today's video is a little different. So we're not vlogging today. I am going to actually tell you how I started keto. I'm not a doctor. This is just what worked for me. There's lots of information online. If you wanna go research this, please go. Go to Dr. Eric Westman's channel. Go to Dr. Berg's channel. They are doctors. They can give you all the scientific reasons on how this works, why it works. All I know is when I do keto, I lose weight. It's very sustainable for me. It's easy. I can still eat meat and cheese and seafood. And that doesn't seem like a diet. It's more of like a lifestyle for me. So one of my biggest pet peeves when I go to search out these videos is having to listen to the person talk for hours instead of just getting into it. All I wanna know is what can I eat and what can I not eat? And then I wanna to go to the store and get what I need. So that's what we're doing today. So I follow Dr. Eric Westman's approved keto food list. I have made a copy of this. I bring it with me to the grocery store. This is how I started. Now I've gotten a little more lenient as time goes on and I have lost weight. Um, so, you know, I'm not as strict as I was when I started out but here are the foods. Eat as much as you want of this. Meat, poultry, fish, seafood, eggs, okay? And for meat, that means beef, hamburgers, steak, pork, ham, bacon, lamb, veal, processed meats, even sausage, pepperoni, hot dogs, and just make sure that on those that your carb count is less than one gram or about one gram. For poultry, that's chicken, turkey, duck, pheasant. Okay, for fish and seafood, that's tuna. You can do canned or fresh. Salmon and um, your shrimp, scallops, crab, lobster, fish is all zero carb. For eggs, you can do boiled, scrambled, poached, fried, any way that you want. Eggs are the perfect meal. Um, deviled eggs even. Okay, you also want to have two cups of salad or leafy greens a day, and you want to have one cup of non-starchy vegetables per day. So um, the salad greens include arugula, cabbage, kale, lettuce, mustard greens, collard greens, and spinach. And the non-starchy vegetables are artichoke, asparagus, cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, celery, cucumber, eggplant, green beans, leeks, okra, onion, jicama, mushrooms, peppers, shallots, snow peas, okra, pumpkin, sprouts, sugar snap peas, summer squash, rhubarb, wax beans, zucchini, and tomatoes. Um, no corn, no potatoes, okay? Just remember that corn is fed to animals to fatten them up. So we don't wanna eat corn while we are trying to lose weight. Okay, so the next items on the list, these should be limited quantities. So cheese is okay, but only four ounces a day. Okay, heavy cream up to two tablespoons a day. No milk, milk is not allowed. It has sugar in it. The sugar is called lactose. Uh, mayonnaise is okay, up to two tablespoons a day. Olives, six per day. Avocados are okay, a half per day. Lemon and lime juice is good, two teaspoons a day. Soy sauce, two tablespoons a day. Pickles, dill or sugar-free, two a day. And snacks, my favorite. So pork rinds are okay, pepperoni slices, ham, beef jerky. You can do a roll up like a cheese and a, and a meat rolled up. That's a good quick option. Deviled eggs, like I was saying. You can do sugar-free jello, a low carb yogurt, um, and any Splenda, Stevia, monk fruit sweetener type of sweets. I think it's not bad. And remember, fats and oils are okay with keto because there are no carbs. So butter is okay. Oil and vinegar for your salad dressing is fine. Also blue cheese dressing, Caesar dressing, ranch dressing, 
and um, a Cobb salad is a good choice for a salad because it's got the meat and cheese and eggs. Also, Dr. Westman says that it's really best not to have fruit. So fruit is very sugary. I have said before on my channel that I do eat blueberries and I will eat some strawberries occasionally. Of course, I did not in the beginning when I was starting out on this journey. I stayed away from that. I have just recently started incorporating some blueberries, a few, just a handful of blueberries in my yogurt or one or two strawberries. Just be careful with the amount of fruit. It's very sugary. It will stop weight loss using a, a low carb approach. So skip that. Beverages, so up to three servings of caffeine a day is okay if you can have caffeine. Um, you know, I don't have any heart trouble. If you do, of course, check with your doctor on this. Uh, I'm just saying, um, if you can have this, that's fine. Also, diet drinks are allowed. Um, you know, they're not as clean as we'd like them to be, but those Zevia drinks are a really good option, and they are a cleaner option than going to get a Diet Dr. Pepper or something that's got the caramel coloring in it. I still like that occasionally though, I will do that. Of course, no alcohol to start with until you reach your goal. And then there are some lower carb alcoholic beverages out there that you can, you can do. Um, I was under the impression that nuts were okay. In my research, I have found that it's not okay. Nuts are not okay when you are trying to lose or reverse diabetes. So stay away from all the, the nuts, the pecans, cashews, pistachios, almonds, peanuts, macadamia nuts. They're not good. Neither are nut flowers like almond flour. This is just for in the beginning until you reach your goal weight, okay? and then you can have some of these things. This goes for peanut butter too. Um, just reach your goal and then you can start incorporating these things back in. They will slow your, your fat burning, your weight loss down. Okay, and I wanna just give you an idea of a sample day, just a really simple sample day. So bacon and eggs for breakfast, super easy. You could do grilled chicken salad for lunch with some of those dressings that we talked about earlier. The ranch is okay, a Caesar dressing, a blue cheese dressing. I'm not really a big fan of oil and vinegar. I like a dressing. A pepperoni slices and a cheese stick for a snack, or we talked about those pork rinds to snack on if you need a snack. Also, um, for dinner, you could do a bunless burger or a steak with green beans and butter and a side salad or a green salad for dinner. Not bad. So when I made up my mind to do keto, I looked up a ton of success stories. I looked up um, what I eat in a days on keto. I watched those. I watched so many different YouTubes and some of my favorites are Allie McWowie is her name. Also Keep It Keto. Um, I just learned a ton from, from these channels and, and got ideas. Um, the Dr. Berg channel. I, I learned so much about his supplements and I, I recommend to go and follow um, some YouTube channels to learn more. I am not the real scientific person um, for you to learn all this. I'm just telling you what worked for me and sharing my days with you and hopefully I can inspire you to do this. But it is so simple. I just find that it's the, the most easy way to stay on track and to lose weight because number one, I'm never hungry. So after one week, honestly, like four, five, maybe six days, my hunger disappeared, okay? You're gonna stop craving. You don't have to eat less necessarily, but you will automatically just become less hungry and eat less and that's how you lose weight. Once you have no hunger at all, that's how you're gonna know that you're doing it right. It's just that easy. So let's go shopping and get what we need to do keto. So one of our favorite places to go is Costco. We like to rack up on chicken thighs, chicken breast. Here they have really huge shrimp. My favorite egg bites, the Starbucks egg bites, there's ground turkey. There's also great fish. 
A lot of salmon or fish fillets are always really good to get here at Costco. Let's go in this Walmart and I'm gonna show you what staples I got as I was doing keto. So hey everybody, it is actually the next day. It is my birthday today. My husband is here. We are gonna go to lunch, but first I just wanted to say goodbye. I'm gonna close out the video and I hope that the Walmart haul gave everybody a better understanding about how to start keto and just show you that it's easy. You can do this too. So I'll see everybody next Friday. We're gonna go have some lunch. Bye. Bye. I know you will find